Hello guys and today I'm going to talk briefly about how I saw a BBC billboard um, by the roadside when I was walking um, down the shops, okay? I was walking down a road, I believe it's either Longford Road or Fosal Road because Longford Road does turn into Fosal Road and I can never remember when Longford actually turns into Fosal Road in Coventry, okay, which is quite near where I live, okay? And I was surprised when I looked at the side of the street, on of the street, and there was a billboard above me, advertising BBC Free. I'm going to show you that now. Now, I was absolutely surprised at this, because when I saw it, I thought, what a waste of money. Now, the BBC is funded mostly in Britain out of taxation via something called the TV licence. In simple terms, um, if people watch TV the way it used to be watched about 30 years ago, you know, where you switch on a television and you use your remote control and you change channels and whatever channel you go to on your TV set suddenly starts coming through immediately. The old-fashioned way, which is how a lot of older people watch television in simple terms, and how some other people do as well, then you need a TV licence. The TV licence is used to fund the BBC and also something that most people don't know about called F4C, okay, which I believe is a Welsh language channel. Now, uh, it's become quite controversial recently because a lot of people don't like the TV licence, they think it's a waste of money, they don't see why they should have to pay for the BBC when they don't watch it. There are workarounds these days where you can actually watch TV programmes created in Britain without a TV, owning a TV licence, but you need to access them via the internet in some way, and you cannot watch any programmes as they're broadcast. So you can't watch, for example, um, a live football match broadcast from anywhere, even anywhere in the world, believe it or not. So if you can watch anything live, even by YouTube, if it's totally live, from anywhere of the world, if it's a real TV program, um, if it's just seeing somebody, you know, um, you know, like a YouTuber streaming to their fans, unless it's something that would also be on a real TV show, then, you know, that's... Um, something you don't need a TV licence for. But anyway, the, traditionally, for many, many years in Britain, to watch TV, in very simple terms, you needed a TV licence. Now, recently, in order to try and get people to probably buy more TV licences, um, the BBC have moved the channel back onto the main um, television network, OK? So, originally, for example, um, there was BBC Free, which you could just switch on a television and watch. Then they took it off and you had to have the internet to watch it. They said it was because younger people um, were more interested in watching things via the internet and BBC Free was aimed at younger people. I don't mean like children, I mean like, I think, probably about 18 to 30 or something like that, was how they defined it. And then, now they decided to move it back on again, probably to encourage people to buy a TV licence. I don't know. But anyway, um, the... It's been debated in Parliament about the TV licence and how much it costs and a lot of people are struggling to pay it and a lot of people don't see why they should have it at all. And so, for me, and also there was an issue where um, in the past um, TV licences for anybody over 75 was free. If you had somebody in your house that was 75 years or over, the TV licence was free. Now recently they've changed it so they will only give it free licence to those over 75 if they're the absolute poorest families, okay? And so, a lot of this has become controversial, the government said they weren't happy with it, the BBC said tough luck. It's become very co complicated between the BBC and the government over this, and um, the BBC is saying we want more money, the government are now saying get lost, you'll just have to do with whatever you've got, and it's becoming quite controversial, okay? And it's in my view, given that the BBC is saying they haven't got enough money as it is, them going out and wasting money on billboards like this is, to me, ridiculous. So in my opinion, this is just a downright waste of money, 
and they would have been better off spending money on programmes or actually providing some more funds to fund these TV licences for the older people if they want to. Or making the TV licence cheaper, rather than wasting money on billboards telling people that BBC Free is now on TV when they can find that out via the news, because it was on the news, it was on websites, uh, it was discussed on the radio. You know, I don't think it's that much of a secret. You know, they could mention it even on the BBC website for free, you know. Uh, um, well, you know, apart from whatever it costs just to put change the website, which they have, you know, on-site web developers, I would think, because they change it all the time. So, I just think that's a downright waste of money and a kick in the teeth when people are already complaining that like, the TV licence is too much. They feel they are paying for something that they don't even want because a lot of people don't even want the BBC at all. I don't see why they have to pay for it to watch channels which are on their television which have nothing to do with BBC whatsoever, but it is the law. And if you do not pay the TV licence and they catch you, you can be fined a thousand pounds in theory. And if you refuse to pay the fine, you go to prison. And people have gone to prison for not for owning a TV li not owning a TV license while watching television and not paying the fine and then ending up in prison. It has happened. So that's why it's also very controversial because basically you're saying to people who either you pay for for these billboards or by the roadside to tell people that the channel a new ch a channel has now been put on the television or you risk prison, and that is what I find ridiculous. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys, bye, and now I'm going to show you some extra footage um, just to show that I didn't fake that um, image um, and that, you know, I just showed a video clip, of, I showed a video clip of me just moving the camera around, around and the billboard so you can see I've not faked it, okay? Yes, with state of the art Hollywood technology it is possible to fake it, but it'd be very difficult and very time consuming for somebody like me in my own bedroom, okay? So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Bye.